Hi guys, today let's talk health and fitness, but let's be clear, I'm not a personal trainer nor a professional athlete, just a video editor that sat on a chair for way too long. How long exactly? At least two decades. I started editing on VHS tapes. I was sitting on the floor playing one tape on a VCR and clicking rec pause on another. I wasn't constrained to sitting on a chair until I started editing on computers around 2001. My first video was an hour-long skateboarding video I've edited for my brother, filmed on the Sony VX1000, if I'm not mistaken. The software had only one track and you could only add and remove elements at the end of the timeline, so you couldn't move clips around and titles were basic to say the least. But yeah, I was young and technically was finishing industrial engineering school, but my only motivation was filming and editing. From that point started a long journey of editing on computers and sitting on chairs. Yesterday I did a photo shoot for a friendly fencing tournament and usually I have no problem spending your day taking pictures. But yesterday was something different. I could feel my legs being kinda weak, not sure how to explain it but I felt 40 plus years old which I am, so yeah, it's just a number, but still. Anyway, during the day I was speaking with different parents and one of them happened to be the physical education teacher and he said something around the lines of the main reason to keep moving is because you still can. That hit home really hard. If you're 30 plus and not in the best shape, you may understand what I mean. So I came back to the studio, edited the pictures until 3 a.m., sent them to the organizer and felt like my back and legs again. So I jumped on the scale to check and I gained a significant amount of weight. My body is completely rusted. I can stay 16 hours coding and editing, but I barely walk straight to the grocery store. I don't even talk about the impact on my mental health. I often walk to the point my eyes can't focus anymore, leaving me in a state of numbness. This is a clip from 2014 film by Anthony. And you can see I was already feeling burnt out. For someone who has been into sports and well-being, working all day every day just trying to break even, that's infuriating. So today, after months of isolation in the studio, it's time to exercise a way or another. I'm trying to motivate myself to do some outdoor activities, move from that flipping chair even if the business side isn't fully solved yet. I truly believe focusing on my work will solve all the issues in a year. Then I could take care of my body, but how far did that plan go? I opened some YouTube channels for different projects, built something like 8 to 10 websites. We moved a lot on different fronts. So we made a lot of progress. That doesn't mean we can already reap the benefits. Found myself exhausted and my body is calling for a change. So from now on, I prioritize my health and fitness and focus only on well-paying projects. I did my 10,000 hours of editing web design. It's time to get back on my feet and eventually on skates. But I have to be honest, these legs aren't ready for the shock of aggressive night skating as they are right now. So, I've already taken a soft breakfast, just a mashed sardine with avocado and a spoon of sauce. It looks like vomit, but trust me, it's actually good. Now, I'm heading to the corner store, grab some water, and I will find a quiet spot to do some moves. The goal isn't to make a fitness guru channel. It's just for me to motivate myself, start losing weight, and building back those muscles I need for blading. So, I went for a walk, arrived at the crossroad of three worlds, and chose the level expert, obviously, I'm built different. For some reason I started filming stuff in the woods, I call that art tree photography. It's like street photography, but it's just trees. I'm very dedicated to it, trying to master composition techniques. I hope you see the beauty which emanates from Mother Nature. There are always many dogs around that park, and very interesting shots like these dogs barking at each other. As usual, the small ones are the most noisy and the owners don't even try to stop them anymore. I had a nice footage on that path that got ruined by your doo-doo time in 4K. Bon appétit if you're eating something. 
So I passed by the Mirador, where the usual Instagram influencers and other fashionable couples take their selfies and obfuscate the view in the same time. I am a local now, so I don't really care. I can chill here another day. I just shot these views, then got back on track. So I finally found my cool spot. I tried to do some push-ups, though the ground is made of dust, rocks, and artifacts of previous visitors. I stretched a bit, then took the time to breathe, looking at the horizon, I mean the trees, then did some more push-ups. Wasn't much, but the hiking to a spot with the bag was already a workout on its own. Most importantly, I'm not on a chair in front of a screen for some hours, and that's what I wanted. That's the start of a process. I've seen the sun, had a good time, rebuilding a strong body and mind, and sooner or later I'll be back on skates. In the meantime, stay blessed, peace.